Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about a nice neat feature, it's called soft palettes, that is the part of the executor window, and I've been asked to show it, so, and I think you will all benefit if you never used it, if you are not sure what it is, so today I will, I will try to answer all the questions. So what is the soft palette? So basically soft palette is, an, a, di is a dynamic palette that you can update in your executor window and at the same time if this palette has been used across your show file in a lot of queues uh, then momentarily you will update all those queues with this new information so it's a really nice function and if you used uh, normal palettes in the in execute window of course you may say what's the difference the difference is if you use the normal palettes in the execute window you will update a particular uh, you will update the fixtures at that time while you're applying them but you won't be able to update many many queues or chases or queue stacks at the same time like you can do with the uh, with um, soft palettes and in the next few minutes I'll show you how to do it yourself so, and here's an example, like you can see I have a chase, two steps, that's running dimming intensity and the color on the stage right, stage left of the spots, and by pressing buttons I will be able to update the colors on them immediately, but I'm using just for one chase, but imagine if I had 20 different chases and I have maybe 50 different queues where I would like to update those colors in one go, I would be able to do it just by using the soft palettes in the execute window. So here how you do this. Okay, we what we will create is we will create, um, we will delete this, uh, you know what, no, I'll, I'll do it from, the, from scratch. So I'm going to create a new page I'm gonna set grid size to be let's say 10 by 6 okay so I have this one here then I'm gonna come over here and I will create those palettes that I will use as my soft uh, soft palettes to do this I will use for color but you can use it for anything you want so let's say I'm gonna select uh, I can select all my Maverick MQ2 spots I can press locate if I want and I will just find the empty space, I'll press record here, and I'll press record here, okay? So, what we can do now is, we'll come here, sorry, uh, we'll come here, let me just go down, yeah, this is one, I'm going to call this palette, I'm going to call it, say, soft3, because I already have two, and I'll press, this is going to be my soft 4. So I can go inside view palette and I'll say unlink palette. So that means this is going to be my individual palette. I'll come here and I'll say view palette. Yeah, it's all, it's all normal. So they're both palettes absolutely empty. Well, with a white color and they have no connection to anything else so there's no relation to any other palettes then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select spot stage left I'm gonna say for example I can press uh, at full and I'm gonna select my soft palette 3 then I'm gonna say record here then I can press clear I'll select spot stage right I'll press at full and I'm going to press soft palette 4 record here on the top. So what we did create is we created a nice chase and you can see that it's running. So you can double click. You can see that it's running with the two steps. One of them is the stage left and stage right and they're just switching on and off and you can see they're all white color. Why? Because the palettes we saved, they had no color except for white. Cool, so this is what we do next. Now, if you open an execute window, the one that we've created, yeah, then what we do is this. We're going to copy, press copy, we'll select those two groups, we press enter to copy the source, 
then we press execute window and click here now we can say move those ones over here so we ha have two groups now we do next so we can select all of them and then for example we can copy we press copy we click on a group and I can copy let's say up until here yeah I press enter I go to the execute window I click here so I've got this one copied and I can copy this ones enter click here so I have full duplicate copies of them because I want to be able to update them as I want whenever I want so then what I do is I come back here go down here and then I copy these two palettes press enter come into the execute window and then move them this one over here and move that one over here so we press clear see this it's so they all disappeared I said fine I will select this I'll press set region that way this palette with one group will always work with that group when I'll be pressing so instead of me every time pressing group palette group palette I will be just pressing the palette and they will apply so then I will select that group of uh, palettes with uh, with um, uh, with a group I select it and I have a second um, a second region so now here's a trick so if you select your uh, soft 3 palette the one that we want to work with the stage left and then here on encoder it says item type button so if I click on this it will became, become link so this will become link only for palettes so if you have a, a executor then you're gonna change the type of the executor but in our case it's a palette so if I click here it will become link as well so what that means is now if I come here yeah this is the chase if I go inside of this queue if I press view queue you can see that it's referring to the color as a soft 3 and if I go to the next step I can see that it's referring to the color as a soft 4 like a palette color yes that's fine that's what you probably expect and now um, what you do is you press clear yeah because we've selected the palette that was a white color so it wasn't a programmer we press clear and now if we click on any of our palettes you will see that it automatically converts them into the uh, applies them onto each of our steps to the correct group of lights so if you press yellow here and red here you will see that it applies colors correctly onto each group of lights and of course again you may say that hey I could do the same thing but the difference is now if you go to the layout view uh, sorry if you go to the color palette view you select your soft palette 3 and then you press view palette you will be able to see that it has applied the colors like a yellow color uh, from the palette that I've used in the executor window so now if I go to the next step uh, next palette you will see that it apply the color red so what it means is it's dynamically this palette is changing all the time when I choose different colors so you remember this was yellow yeah if I go to the execute window and I press blue now and I go back to this color you will see that um, in a second yeah you will see here that it has updated now you have a cyan and magenta that makes it blue actually applied together so that means that those palettes those soft palettes are dynamically updated from your choice of palettes in the execute window and the difference between this and the normal way of applying a palette as soon as you choose this color that updates this soft palette 
and when this soft palette is updated it also updates well this is the reference to the palette that is here and then if you use that palette in many other cues or chases across your show file they will automatically will be updated so what it means is you don't need to come here every time and go and change the color and update you can actually do it immediately by choosing the right color and that will apply the soft palette here so this is one of the ways of using the soft uh, palettes in the region so if you have a group of lights color palettes and one of the soft palette then it will be always any choice here will automatically update a palette and this choice will automatically update all the cues and the chases that you have that uh, that is linked to that soft palette i hope it wasn't um i hope it wasn't too hard again um that way it's actually much faster but some people uh don't use the uh they don't use um, the regions which I think they should really use but if you remove the region say clear region if you remove that clear region so every time if you want to apply and update a soft palette first of all you'll have to select a group then you'll have to select a soft palette and then you have to apply the color so that's a really really long winded, winded way so the best way to do it is to do the way the same way I showed you is when you select your uh, all the palettes including soft palette and the group of lights you press set region and that's applied same thing set region and that's applied that way you will be really really uh, you will be able to update uh, a lot of your cues and chases just with uh, one click of a palette on the main screen. I hope it was useful for you and if you have any other questions feel free to ask. I mean subscribe to both of our channels. We have a Camsys YouTube channel and of course you've seen it on another channel. Subscribe to both of them and as soon as the new videos will come out you will be able uh, you will be notified about this. That's all for today. Have a good day. Bye.